Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is going to be about Linksys routers and a couple of the advantages that you get by using them. We're mostly focused today on the UI or the user interface. So that is the way that you actually configure your router and make changes to it. More specifically, the way that you could expect your mom or your grandpa to be able to correctly configure a Linksys router without your intervention and without getting too confused. Now just because your grandpa can do the basic stuff, and we're going to show you what your grandpa will be able to do with this router a little bit later, doesn't mean that Linksys has left out the advanced options that many users are going to need. So by entering your URL 192.168.1.1 and entering your admin password, you can get into all the advanced stuff that Frankly, 99.9% .9 of users have zero interest in. So you can configure things like the onboard storage on your router, the USB port. You can configure things like your firewall, your application settings, ports that open and close or schedules, all that good stuff is all accessible through here. And you have the added convenience if you're like a semi-expert, you're a bit of a tech head, but you're not a networking know-it-all you have the advantage of not having to reboot your router in order to test your settings. So Linksys's latest generation of routers can have any settings in here changed and applied without requiring a reboot, which means that you can fiddle with things, you can tweak things, you can get them working using the advanced settings without it taking nearly as long and waiting you know, 30 seconds for a reboot every time you do something. Now for people who aren't that advanced, there's Cisco Connect. So the way to get Cisco Connect is to download it off the Linksys website. You just download it, install it, it takes just a couple minutes and boom, there you go. Cisco Connect gives you easy access to all of the frequently used settings that like I said, mom and grandpa are going to need. So it allows you to easily connect another device without knowing anything about networking, allows you to adjust parental controls, included limiting internet access times and websites, as well as configuring guest access. So these are things that could be very confusing for semi-knowledgeable people, but yeah, it's a lot simpler if all you have to do is click a simple button in order to configure it total guess allowed, it's a much cleaner UI. The other thing that you can do is you can easily configure the router name and password and then set up an easy setup key. So an easy setup key allows you to copy your networking configuration from the PC that you use to set up the router and then plug it into any other PC around the house in order to get set up without even remembering the password. Last but not least, you can click this guy right here in order to Access the web UI, it gives you a little warning, using the advanced utility to change stuff might mess up your Cisco Connect settings, but that's fine. What I would do is I'd give this to my mom and tell her, just don't click this. So now it's conclusion time. It's not always as simple as, look, it's a really great product, it's really easy to use, because it does come at a bit of a cost. So you do pay more for a Linksys router versus what you might pay for a competing product. However, you do get a couple of advantages. You get a stable product. I think we can all pretty much agree that a Linksys router is very unlikely to die and very unlikely to have showstopper type problems that you might encounter with a surprising number of competing products. As in my personal experience. It's a stable company, so that means that when they say they have a three-year warranty, it means they're actually still gonna be around in three years to give it to you. Not all companies can necessarily say that. BFG, anybody? Lifetime warranty on your video card? Yeah, uh, as the lifetime of the company, that is. The last thing is the stable experience. So no matter whether you're using an entry-level router or a high-end Linksys router, you can use Cisco Connect, even on their most premium products. You can use the advanced interface on even their most basic products, and the functionality and interface are going to be consistent. So that means if you're using a Cisco router at home and you recommend them to people, yeah, they're gonna have to pay a little bit more, but all of a sudden you have these tools that are easy to use and it's much easier to troubleshoot for them if you have to walk them through doing something advanced. I'm speaking as someone who's had to do this on a fairly regular basis with family members and friends. So thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.